Hi guys, um, this is my second YouTube video. Um, I'm going to do the summer tag. Uh, I was tagged by Claire from a bit of this and that. I'll leave her information down below. Um, she's a fellow blogger from the West Midlands, so go and give her a bit of love. Um, yeah, there are 10 questions. Some are beauty, some aren't. Um, I just thought it would be a good video to do because then you can learn a little bit more about me. Um, yeah, let's get started. Um, so the first question is, what's your favourite nail polish for summer? Um, now, I only have one. It is this one from Essie. Let me get the light to shine on it so you can see. It's called Geranium. Um, I got it in a glossy box. Um, I don't know if they actually do this colour normally. I haven't really seen it. I've got it on my toes at the moment. Um, and I absolutely love it with a tan. It looks really, really beautiful. It's an orange tone, sort of corally red colour. I guess I'm not very good with descriptions. Um, it is beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, I love corals for summer. You'll see a theme <laughs> running through this um, with all the different makeup bits. Um, okay, question number two is a fashion question. It's what's your favourite item of clothing? It's actually this dress. Um, I got it from Warehouse. Oh, as you can see my bra, sorry. Um, which is a shop in the UK. Um, you don't really have an equivalent over in the States here. It does really nice clothes and accessories and handbags and things like that. Um, they often have outlets in some of the department stores as well back home. It's pretty great. Uh, the second second thing are these shoes. Um, they're Sperry's. I got them in the Lord & Taylor sale. Yeah, they've got a sort of cork heel. It's not a very high heel, but every little helps when you're five foot six, doesn't it really? Um, I love the detailing on them, I think it's beautiful. They've got woven fabric here and at the back, this is an ankle strap here. They look a bit like Gucci sandals. They remind me of Gucci sandals with this ankle strap here. Um, with gold buckles. They also had a white pair which has silver buckles but I didn't like them as much. Um, yeah, like I said, I got them in the Lord and Taylor sale. Um, they're really cheap too, actually. <laughs> um, Lord & Taylor, uh, a department store in the US, um, for English people that don't know what that is. Uh, and they were having, <laughs> okay, America has awesome sales, I'll give you that. They are incredible. They had a sale anyway, and then they had a sales deal where the more pairs of shoes you bought, the more the discount was. So I think I got 40% off these because I bought two other pairs of shoes in the sale. Um, yeah, ridiculous. 40% off plus it was like half price in the sale anyway. So it was pennies, well, not actual pennies. That would be weird. Um, yeah, question three is what's your top eyeshadow? Now I could go down the MAC route with this so easily, but A, my MAC palettes are being used to stand this camera on. I've got a real makeshift tripod stand going on down there. Um, but also that's boring. Everyone does MAC things. So to be fair, this isn't a very original product either. It's an Estee Lauder eyeshadow duo. Sorry, the packaging's a bit grubby there. It's um, called Raisins. This is upside down, so the E is meant to be the right way around. But it is genuinely gorgeous. This is a lot like Naked Lunch from MAC. Um, but it is a bit dark. This is a gorgeous sort of burgundy wine colour. I have got it on at the moment. Um, um, I think it's great. I wore this to work. I didn't wear it to work like this, just to say. I popped it more on just before turning the camera on. Um, yeah, I love that. And that's also the last makeup question where I only have one thing. Sorry. Uh, the next one is question four. It's what's your best lipstick? Now, technically, I only have one lipstick, so I am doing okay here. Um, this is Costa Chic from MAC. Let me just swatch it for you. There. It is a frost lipstick, so it does have a bit of shimmer to it, and it's the only frost lipstick that I will tolerate. I genuinely love this. I got it for my birthday. Yeah, as you can see, it's looking a little bit brighter on camera than it is in person. It looks more like my nail colour on camera. It's not that close to it. Um, it's a it's a true coral, I would say. It's not orange toned, it's not pink toned. Proper, proper coral. Looks great with a tan. Would look great on anyone with naturally tan skin. If you are that kind of person, I'm incredibly jealous of you. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and the next thing is a MAC plush glass. Um, this is called Big Kiss. Um, I really like the plush glass formulas, actually. I think they're great. Um, they're one of the only MAC lip glosses I can tolerate because they're not sticky. Um, there's the two together. Um, this looks great on its own. I absolutely love it. And 
although my hair does get caught in it sometimes now because my hair's a lot longer than it used to be. Still not long by any stretch of the imagination, and though is it really? It's also looking very dry and a bit scaggy today. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Anyway, love those. Um, next question is, what's your favourite perfume or scent? Now I took that to be two questions because you know, very indecisive. So the perfume comes in the form of this little beauty. This is Jo Malone's Asmanthus Blossom Cologne. Uh, this was limited edition. I got it as a present for my birthday. Um, oh, I just love the packaging. How cute is that little bow? It's just, oh, it's amazing. And it's limited edition, so I'm being so sparing with it. I've only used that much. <laughs> but it's just the most fresh floral scent. It's like someone mixed cucumbers with flowers or something. It's so fresh and it has real staying power as well, which is great in the summer. Love that. And then the next thing is this. This is a candle. That's a lion on the front. <laughs> um, it's from the Lennox Hotel in Boston, which is where I stayed with my mum for a few days before I got the keys to this place. Um, oh my God, it just smells incredible. Um, it's their sort of signature scent, I suppose. They have it piped into their lobby and reception, I guess through the air conditioning or something. I don't know. Um, but it smells amazing. It's green tea and lemongrass, I think. I seem to remember, anyway. Um, it's made by Terra Essential Scents, apparently. Um, you can go on their website, I don't know if you can buy it off their website or if it's for the hotel only, but it smells insane. If you're ever in Boston, just walk into the Lennox lobby. It's on Boylston Street and Exeter Street. Um, it's on the corner. It's amazing the hotel's great anyway if you're looking for a place to stay stay there plus there's a really hot guy on reception who sold me this candle so little things in life isn't it really <laughs> um yeah anyway next question is what's your favorite foundation for summer mine is this it looks tiny actually um it's from bobby brown it's the luminous moisturizing foundation um and I love it, I love glowy skin. Yeah, it's got some of Boy Brown actual skincare in it. It's their only foundation that's anti-aging, I believe. Not that I really did worry about that age 20. Um, but at some point I will need to worry. Um, so yeah, this is great. It goes on so nicely. It has real staying power. Um, I have it on at the moment and I put this on about 7 a.m. this morning. It's now about, yeah, it's 10 past seven now in the evening. So it's, I, I've had it on for 12 hours, haven't retouched it at all. Um, yeah, it's great. Absolutely love that. Um, the next question is your favourite book for summer. Um, now I did bring some books with me, but they are books that are made for my degree. So they're about a pharaoh. Um, so most of you, A, would find that really boring. And B, they are part of my makeshift tripod stand. So what I have for you instead is my little baby. This is my Kindle. This is a Kindle Paperwhite, the 3G one. Um, yeah, and what I'm reading at the moment is, oh, I'm highlighting something. Ned Stark laid his head back is what I highlighted. And if you don't know who Ned Stark is, shame on you. I'm reading Game of Thrones. Um, I know everyone's been going on about Game of Thrones for ages. I've watched the TV series. I'm completely caught up. It was absolutely heartbreaking for all of you GOT fans. Absolutely heartbreaking. I miss Ned Stark. So I'm reliving the heartbreak in word format now on my the next question. Actually, it's the penultimate question. That's a long word. Um, it is your favorite food for summer. Um, now I don't have the first answer to this question. It's a salad from pret a um, It's really refreshing. It's their cob salad and I take out the tomatoes because I hate raw tomato. Um, but apart from that, it's great. It's um, mixed leaves and blue cheese and walnuts and apples and dried cranberries and yummy, yummy goodness, essentially. It's not bad for you either. I think it's 400 calories or something very near that. Um, and I have it with their skinny dressing, um, which is only 15 calories too. Woo. Um, I am trying to lose a bit of weight, hence the salad. Um, but you wouldn't think that at all by my second answer to this question, which is Land of Lakes, cinnamon, sugar, but anyway, th that stuff, this stuff tastes amazing on toast. 
It says on the packet that you're meant to put it with vegetables. No, pictures of carrots. Just no, no. <laughs> Toast, bagels, probably be awesome in porridge too. The last question is another makeup one. And again, I have more than one, sorry. Um, it's your favorite blusher. Uh, my first one is this little cream blusher from Bourgeois. Uh, this is number three, Rose Tender. Oh, hide the mirror. Um, it's not my usual blusher choice, I have to say. Um, I'm not really one for baby pink anything, really. Um, but I saw this and swatched it in boots uh, before I came out here. And I love it. It's beautiful. It's great. It works so nicely. If you're going for quite a natural look, it just gives you a bit of a flush. Um, it's quite dewy as well, it's got some shimmery, glittery bits in it which don't translate fully onto the skin so it just looks a bit glowy and nice. Um, my second thing is this one from Illamasqua. It's another coral, I'm sorry, I'm very boring. Uh, it's called Lover, it's one of their powder blushes. It's a matte orangey coral colour. Um, it is pretty great, I have to say. This is what I'm wearing right now, it's my sort of staple everyday blusher and it's super super pigmented as you can see my hand is a, a world of coral and pink there um yeah super super pigmented you have to have a really light hand with Illamasqua blushes in general <laughs> um yeah I've had this for over a year now and um, I got it when I was in my first year of uni <laughs> and yeah you can see how much it's gone down like literally nothing barely touched it so it's gonna last me for years which is great. Um, right, that's the end of all the questions. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be coming back this weekend uh, with an American beauty haul, I think. I think that's going to be my next thing. Um, I'm probably going to do a fashion sales haul as well because I got quite a few bits in the Zara sale and you can see the other shoes that I got and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!